Okay, the final fitting for the shell, and this isn't all of it for the stove, it's just for the shell, is the end caps. And simply put, they're a three quarter inch BME end cap, and what it's going to look like from an end view is we're going to go three quarter up, three quarters of an inch down, over, three quarters of an inch up, three quarters of an inch down. Now this is going to actually be bent on all sides. And so, since we need a top and a bottom to this, we need two of them at 23 and a quarter by 23 and a quarter inches. And this time, we want to use 24 gauge. And the reason is that there's going to be a lot of weight on these. The 26 gauge isn't going to hold up as well. Okay, now this is going to be fittings layout number six. And I'm going to mark these numbers so as they're being assembled, you can keep track of which one was where. Now, to scribe out this one, technically we only need to set it at an inch and a half. If you're going to bend this out on the bar fold, if you're going to bend it on the brake, you'll also want to do a three quarter mark. And so for convenience I'll do the inch and a half first then uh, do the three quarter in case you're going to have to do it on a break. So basically we're going to mark inch and a half on all sides. Then if you're going to do a three quarter flip it over do three quarters on this side. Flip it back over, and since these marks probably aren't going to be showing up very well, right here is where the marks intersect. Now what we want to do is we want to take and we want to snip it straight across just a little past where those marks intersect. At the very minimum right where, but if you do it just a little bit past, it's going to make it a lot easier when you go to do assembly. And you'll want to do that on all four corners. Okay, do this to both sheets of metal, then what's going to happen is in the bar fold, this will be bent over first on all four of the three quarters, don't flatten it, just bend it over, then it's flipped in the other side and bend up at a 90. First thing, set the bar fold at three quarters of an inch. Now if you want, you can, you can cross break these. Quite frankly it's not going to make much of a difference because all the weight on this is pert nearly going to be right at the corners. There's not going to be much as far as weight in the center. And so for now we're not going to worry about doing a cross break but if, if you want there's no problem doing that. Now once you get all these bent up, flip it over and then just bend it up at a 90 on all the corners. This is called the BME end cap for a boiler maker end cap.